What we, what we learned last day was that simple harmonic motion only depended on two things. It always depended on a restoring force. When something got away from equilibrium, there was some force that says, come back, come back, come back. And we, we characterize that uh, uh, restoring force by the stiffness of a spring, the spring constant. How many newtons you have to pull to stretch that spring by one unit, typically a meter. Now, the other thing that it depends on is the inertia. How hard it is to get that object back to equilibrium. You know, if it's a big, massive object, it's hard to speed it up and slow it down uh, to get it back to equilibrium. And so that changes the timing in the system. The key is that it was independent of the amplitude. Now, what we found was that the period of the oscillation depended on the mass and the spring constant in this relationship here. And we could put it upside down, and that became the frequency, because frequency was 1 over the period. And those formulas will be on the front page of the exam. Now, when we're trying to find a spring constant, that gives us two ways to go about it. The first way, the 205 method, is called the static method. And that method just has you take the spring out of the box from the factory, hang the block on it of mass m, and see how much the spring stretches. And then we use Hooke's law. And you notice that I left the minus sign out just to avoid confusion. Uh, we're typically just dealing with magnitudes here. We know that if the stretch is down, the force is up. And so there's more, supposed to be a minus sign here. We, we neglect that, typically. Now, um, the other method, called the dynamic method, has us bounce that mass up and down on the spring and use this formula. If we know the timing, the period of one oscillation, and we know the mass that's going up and down, we can solve this formula for k. We solve that formula by squaring both sides, and we get the k out of the basement by cross-multiplying. And we get that formula there. Now in some of the homework problems that you had for today, you use this method to find k, and in other problems you used this method to find k.